what is going on with women's behavior? In the 1980s and 90s, it was still popular to be a girl. Do you remember Cyndi Lauper's song, Girls Just Wanna Have Fun? Fun back then meant being a girly girl where girls cared about their appearance and behavior. They weren't self-centered or mean. They'd be giggling over discussing boys. And to be someone other girls look up to and want to be friends with as a positive role model. But when I look at the female pop stars today, I get a very different vibe. Look at how they dress or what they often sing about. Often they're putting down their boyfriend or hating on their exes. And it doesn't stop there. Look at social media. Podcasts such as Fresh and Fit or the Whatever Podcast have made it both cool and trendy for women to either act hard and tough like a man or be a brat with a nasty attitude. And don't forget the onslaught of women often leaving respectable jobs to go on OnlyFans to make more money as sex objects. The strong message being delivered nowadays is that women should be independent and not rely on a man for money. Be a bad boss babe, have children later in life or not at all. I'll quote podcaster Chris Williamson who said, modern feminism tells women that true freedom is achieved by working like your dad and having sex like your brother. Now initially, feminists advocated that women are important and should be respected like men. But that has evolved into the idea that women are not just equal, but in fact, better than men. Yet there are other sources that say women should be feminine, who take on the roles of caregivers, homemakers, educators, wives, mothers, and so on. So who should women listen to? It's confusing, I know. So women, listen up. You do not have to be a sheep. We need a return to some degree of a strong feminine woman who can work in a non-sexualized profession while supporting her man and children. If that sounds good to you, you might ask, where do I even start? Let me help you out. Focus on you, but focus on being a better you. How? Here are some suggestions, which frankly can be applied to men as well. One, take responsibility for your life and your choices. Avoid the victim mentality by focusing on what you can control and change in your life. Two, identify, set, and pursue some meaningful goals that align with your values and dreams. Now, this does require some self-reflection and consideration of what brings you fulfillment and a sense of purpose in your life. Third, it's important to develop some level of independence and self-reliance. Now, this is not to say you can't lean on your man, but rather not be wholly reliant on him, as that can create a mistaken correlation solely between your self-worth and your relationship. So self-worth needs to extend beyond your relationship to include your strengths, interests, accomplishments, and having your own autonomy. Four, let's make honesty, integrity, cool and trendy again. I encourage women to speak honestly, act with integrity, and to seek truth even when it's uncomfortable or challenging. Five, Women like some degree of control, I get it, but it's important to learn how to balance order and chaos. Why? Because chaos is inevitable as life isn't always predictable. Plus chaos is an opportunity for growth. So how do we learn and adapt to this chaos? Women can use their courage, their perseverance and a willingness to learn and grow from setbacks to develop resilience when faced with adversity. Six, women are social creatures. So it makes sense to foster meaningful relationships, such as with family, friends, and finding your romantic partner. Also, healthy relationships provide support, companionship, and opportunities for personal growth. Now, this next one might be very difficult to hear, but you cannot do it all. Don't try to be superwoman. Work towards a better balance in your career relationships, as well as your personal well-being. This includes being able to prioritize your self-care, setting boundaries, and avoiding burnout. This next one, now this is for all the people pleasers out there. Stand up for yourself, stand up for your beliefs and values, and set boundaries in your relationships and interactions with others. Nine, regardless of your age, adopt the mindset of continuous self-improvement and lifelong learning. You can do this by seeking out challenges, learning from failures, and constantly striving to become the best version of yourself. 
10. Redefining the equality mindset. Now, generally speaking, women can do many of the same things as men, but not all due to men's biological ability to be physically stronger, as an example, and vice versa, where women have the advantage of being biologically stronger with caregiving and nurturing. So let's redefine equality to mean that both men and women should have equal opportunities and rights, but be respectful of each other's gender roles as each side brings essential values to the table. So here's something that might be new. Women and men actually complement one another. Another, since we seem to be living in a time where women are encouraged to be boss babes, let's use our power to elevate men. It's up to women to fight against the unhealthy narrative that demonizes men. If you think of caregiving or nurturing as a superpower, let's use it. Yes, we can empower our fellow sisters, but our brothers too. Men and boys are too afraid to approach a woman to ask them on a date for fear of being called a creep or a predator. So try this, smile. Whether it be as an, an acknowledgement for making eye contact with a guy or showing your interest. Now, if the guy follows up with conversation, see where the conversation goes. And don't blame the guy if he asks you out on a date and you're not interested. If you're single in a friendly tone, you can say you enjoy chatting with them and are flattered by the invitation, but you don't feel a romantic connection with him or something to that effect. Remember, traditionally, the guy makes the first move. So if he never makes the first move, chances of him going on a date are slim to none. So avoid being angry with him for simply trying. Now, if he disregards your response and keeps asking you out on dates, you can still be respectful, yet assertive and saying, I'm sorry, but I've already told you I'm not interested. I hope you can respect that. Overall, we need a control delete, basically a reset, if you will, of the sexes. Now, I will do a video soon directed towards men, but in this video, I'm talking to women, especially the boss babes and young women who want to be treated like queens. To be treated like a queen, you need to act with class by being noble, honest, moral, fair, and ethical. And last but not least, if you want to be a queen, share the throne with your king. If you got value out of today's episode, please consider sending this video by using the share button to someone who might benefit from this message. It's word of mouth referrals like this that can really help the channel grow. And I'd really appreciate if you like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you won't miss out any of my future videos of free strategies. I also have another video I want you to watch. It's called Heroes Have No Day Off. If you have questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Until next time, I'm the Iron Therapist, Leslie Timber, reminding you to keep your mental game on.